Hey, how's it going? Nat here, coming up on the show. Could your cat soon have to stay inside? Kyrgios's big comeback win. And what not to do with a can of Gorilla Glue. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead, hit subscribe. Go on. A parliamentary inquiry has come up with a way to deal with Australia's feral cat problem. It could lead to curfews for your pet cat. So, mittens, your nights outside could be numbered. Yep, here in Australia, we've got a bit of a cat catastrophe going on. Don't look at me like that, mittens. No one's saying cats aren't cute or good pets. It's just... They have a ferocious side. It's estimated cats kill 1.6 billion native animals a year. The problem is we've got way too many feral and pet cats roaming around. We didn't have a cat. Meow. The total population of feral cats in Australia is about 2.8 million, and there's about 3.7 million pet cats. A parliamentary inquiry is looking into ways to cut down cat populations and protect wildlife, which is why a nighttime curfew for pet cats has been... Proposed. Proposed. Meow. Several local governments already have curfews, but it may be a while before we see the rest of the country take the report's advice to introduce them. Many say the inquiry is a big step forward, but others say it doesn't go far enough. And we need to be doing more to protect our native animals. South Australia has closed its borders to Greater Melbourne in response to a COVID outbreak. The cluster of at least eight people is linked to the Holiday Inn Hotel at Melbourne Airport. So South Australia has decided only people returning home, relocating or those who are essential travellers will be allowed in. The closures don't apply to people who live in regional Victoria. It's time now to check in with Australia's darling of tennis, Nick Kyrgios. OK, maybe he's not everyone's favourite, but he did win last night. So let's check out Kale with Sport. Let me set the scene. Kyrgios is down two sets to one against Ugo Umber. It's match point. Nick must win. Oh, yes. Can you believe it? Mission complete. And from here, it was pretty smooth sailing. Oh, yes. Yep, out of absolutely nowhere, Nick Kyrgios clawed his way to a five-set come-from-behind victory against the higher-ranked Frenchman. And Kyrgios completes the comeback. And it wasn't without some trademark Kyrgios showmanship. Kyrgios will now take on world number three Dominic Team in the third round, where hopefully things will be a little easier. When your team's nickname is the Buccaneers, it's only appropriate that you celebrate your wins on a boat. And that's exactly what Tampa Bay have done after their massive Super Bowl win on Monday. Superstar quarterback Tom Brady even decided to share the trophy around. Oh my good word. Lucky they're the safest hands in the league. Internet sensations often happen when you least expect it, but other times, there's a bit of planning behind it. Let's check out some things that have gone viral. Sir Elton John and Sir Michael Caine have appeared in an ad encouraging people to get the COVID vaccine. So this is the bit where you're going to have the vaccine now, Elton. So right. just kind of pretend that you're having the vaccine from a nurse. Oh! What was that, Elton? That was me acting. OK, let's cut there. Thanks, Elton. We'll let you know. Oh. Well, at this short notice, you won't find anyone bigger. Hello. My name is Michael Caine. I've just had a vaccine for COVID. It didn't hurt. Not many people know that. Next up, the shocking tale of how Tessica from Louisiana got her hair completely stuck to her head. So I used this Gorilla Glue spray, and it don't move. The glue is industrial strength and also totally waterproof, so washing it out hasn't worked. Tessica's journey has blown up on social media, and now a GoFundMe has raised around $20,000 to go towards her treatment. Yikes. And finally, if you watched yesterday's program, you'll remember this cat video. I'm here live, it's not, I'm not a cat. Well, the guy behind the cat filter has shed some light on the goof up. 
I didn't know how to take the filter off. I didn't even really know what a Zoom filter was. He's not 100% sure, but reckons his secretary's kids might have had something to do with it. That's all the news we've got for you today. In the meantime, hit subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.